when they called me, they called me just before Christmas saying, we found a match and, you know, I was so happy. I was, you know, it's like a second life. My name is uh, David Boudreau. I'm from a small town in Bactus, New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, and I receive a, a bone marrow from somebody, from a donor. And my name is Corey Sandstra. I am from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And I am an extremely proud stem cell donor. I was very fortunate to be selected and to be able to help someone else that needed a stem cell transplant. Could you maybe describe, you know, what did it feel like to have a match, you know, after you've been diagnosed? Uh, you know, I was diagnosed in 2010 in uh, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. I, I only had one brother when they tested to see if there was a match. And I knew my odds were only one out of four, 25% of match. And I wasn't a match. So uh, they decided to go to the uh, registry. Uh, it was kind of a nerve wracking, uh, you know, it took so long, a month, a month and a half before they found a match, you know, because that's the, when you're sick like that, you need uh, something looking forward. And then when they call me, they call me just before Christmas saying, we found a match and, you know, I was so happy I was, you know, it's like a second life. And to me, it was the biggest present I, I ever had before a, a Christmas. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, my next question will be for, for Corey. You know, how did you feel when you found out you matched to someone? I was uh, on the registry since high school and actually had been a match in the past, not the closest match for someone else who was waiting on a stem cell transplant or a bone marrow transplant. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to, to donate at that time. I wasn't the closest match. Uh, they chose another person to go forward with the donation. So when I got this, this call that I had, was a potentially a match again, I was super excited. I really had felt that I had missed an opportunity before not being able to help somebody. So when I got the call that I was a match again, I, was, I had my fingers crossed I'd be the top match because I really wanted to go through with the process. And, um, and uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, so to both of you, you know, what were your thoughts when you first met each other? I know you haven't met each other in person, but I know you met each other virtually. What was, you know, that first time like for both of you? Uh, well, the first time for me, uh, I, I was like really nervous, you know, be, I got the information from Corey, his phone number. Before I made the call, I, I must have paced like maybe for an hour in the house, you know, what do you say to somebody who just, you know, save your life and uh, you know, for me, it was the, the most important call for me. So, uh, you know, when I called him, I said, uh, should I call you uh, my brother, my angel or both? So uh, he told, just told me, uh, Corey will do. So uh, you know, it's amazing uh, experience when you talk to the person who uh, saved your life. So, And I would say, I would say for me, I was uh, obviously being an unrelated, uh, unknown recipient at first. I, I really had no idea what to expect. So I had no expectations. <laughs> You know you've helped somebody, but you don't really realize the impact till you speak to there and hear their voice. And then immediately after I was off that call, you know, pretty much his whole family wants wants to be my friends on social media. So just getting to know David more and what an amazing man he is and the voice he is for the stem cell registry and the things that he's done for Fanconi anemia with his son. Um, I couldn't have donated to a better human being. Really, really beautiful words uh, from both of you. Um, could you both describe, you know, your relationship with each other now? Yeah, to me, he's like a brother to me. And anything that happened on Facebook, I know, I know about it. You know, when he has like, you know, fundraising for his, I know his son, uh, baseball or anything, you know, I'll, I'll send him a message. He'd look, I'll, uh, you know, donate something or, you know, I feel like part of their family and uh, whatever happened to them, I feel like that happened to me. So. Uh, like I told my wife, the first trip we're going to do once the COVID settle down, I um, want to meet uh, Corey and his family in person. So, uh... And Corey? Yeah, for me, I would say the same, that he's really become an extended part of my family. And he's, I've, I've always got a place to go if I'm going to be in Book Touche, New Brunswick. So um, he really is a part of my family and, and um, what's going on in his family's life and, and with himself. Uh, is an integral part of my life too now. So we're, we're like blood brothers that are across the country. Um, and that, that's how I see it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's wonderful. And my last question for both of you, you know, what is your message to folks who are listening around the world, your message about stem cell donation? Uh, for us, our family, we were involved with 
two bone marrow. Uh, you know, I had my, a son who had a bone marrow when he was young and his brother saved him. And now myself, I was sick and Corey saved me. So to our family, uh, it saved not one life, but two lives. So it's really, really important that people out there to, uh, you know, be a donor. That's the most important thing you'll do in your life. And I would say my, my message for people out there that are on the fence or, you know, haven't really thought about it um, or don't know much about what the registry is, um, that it just takes a few seconds of your time to, to swab your mouth and get added to the registry. And uh, the vast majority of people will never, ever get a call, but you're giving someone out there hope that there's someone out there that might be on, on that registry that's a match for them. And in particular in Canada, we have a very multicultural uh, society. And there's a, a drastic need for people of different ethnic descent to join the registry um, because it's much harder for them to find a match. There's not enough people on the registry. So my, my call out to uh, all ethnic races, creeds, everyone out there to really think about it and get yourself on that registry and give someone out there hope that a match is out there for them if they need it.